The Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force was under the spotlight of Governor Gordon Wetherill and his advisory council early 2010 after His Excellency commissioned a review of the police force. According to a local media house, the report was managed and coordinated by Larry Covington of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office Overseas Territories. The inspection and review team consisted of Steve Foster, Commissioner of Police of the Royal Montserrat Police Force, and Simon Martin of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office Overseas Territories, Directorate Law Enforcement Advisor for the Southern Ocean. In a Channel 4 News broadcast April 15th of last year, it was reported that the much-talked-about review of the police force and its recommendations was presented to the governor and discussed with the relevant senior officers. What the governor has remained tight-lipped about since then was the details of the report or the more sensitive contents of the report. Whether the local police force was found to be lacking in any areas, personnel changes, or improvements to facilities and equipment. At a recent press briefing, AG Governor Gordon Wetherill spoke on the police review. On the question of the, uh, of the police report, I mean, it is, as you say, been around for, for, for a long time in the process of, uh, of, uh, of commenting uh, on it within the service and by the writers of the report have, uh, uh, has also taken, uh, t- taken time. My own view now is that with a, with a new uh, uh, commissioner about to, uh, uh, to arrive uh, within the next couple of months, uh, uh, or so here and deputy commissioner that uh, uh, that the that the best way to uh, to use this report on which work has already taken uh, uh, place is to uh, is for them to 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 use it as a uh, as a quarry if you like of uh, uh, of ideas uh, you know sort of possible plans on projects for uh, uh, for further developing the police force and not necessarily to tie their uh, their hands with uh, you know with recommendations that were that were done in a former context. Governor Ratherall also spoke on the officer's budget. As far as News 4 knows, the force is stretched with limited resources. Here's what H.E. had to say. I mean, there, there, there are discussions between the, uh, the, uh, the police and, uh, and the Treasury. In fact, Mr. Jones was involved in them on uh, last, uh, last Friday to, uh, you know, to make sure that the police can uh, access that the, 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 the mechanisms are, uh, are sharpened up for them to be able to access the funds that uh, uh, that they need. More generally, you know, one of the purposes of the of the refinancing package, which is under uh, negotiation now, and which I hope will uh, will come to uh, fruition very uh, uh, very shortly, is to make sure that you know not only are we in a position to pay off the uh, the debts that we currently have, but the going forward, you know, essential. Uh, services such as the uh, the police, the attorney general's chambers, land registry, and others are in fact properly uh, you know properly uh, funded on a predictable basis.